the lights are on, and it's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to our coverage of the NBA. We have a great one for you tonight with the Celtics visiting the Lakers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Dello. What a game we've got in store for you tonight. This is the matchup that everyone had circled on their calendar. Both Bird and the Celtics visiting Magic and the Lakers. What could be better? Absolutely, Mike. And of course, Clark, you have the impact on the standings as well. All teams leading their respective conferences. Yeah, you know, Kevin, that's just another layer to this classic East versus West rivalry. Each team is trying to put more distance between the second place teams trying to track them down. Well, a lot of pressure on recently signed Trump. First game with the team and he's thrown to the Lions. We'll see how long he stays matched up with Magic. A free throw drops for Truck. And for Truck, he's known for his defense, Clark. But it will take a huge effort to contain Magic Johnson in this one. The Celtics did not have much of a choice, Kevin. I mean, with all of their injuries, they needed to bring somebody in. If Truck can disrupt and bother Magic just a little bit, that's a huge lift for them. And he can't hit the second. And Magic Johnson coming off that terrific triple-double last game. A complete game from a very complete player. We've known it for a while now, but we are watching greatness with Magic Johnson. He controls so much of the game when he's on the floor. So here's who the Celtics will begin the game with. Dennis Johnson is out with injury, so Gerald Henderson will start at the point. Scott Redman is joined by the newly signed truck out on the wing. A fifth-year phenom, Larry Bird, starts at the four. And in the middle, Robert Parrish locking up the center position. And starting for the Lakers, Irvin Magic Johnson runs the show at the point. The rookie, Byron Scott, gets the nod at the two. They'll have Michael Cooper and Kurt Rambis making up the front court pair. And, of course, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar standing tall in the middle. Well, with Truck drawing the assignment guarding Magic, Mike, you have to think they'll test him early. And why wouldn't they? When you have a newly signed guy like Truck checking up Magic, you have to go at him early on. We'll find out quick how Truck handles it. The first one falls. As far as guys who can orchestrate your offense, it's hard to do better than Magic Johnson. His vision out on the floor is just so unique. And Johnson drops them both. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Henderson against Cooper. Now here's Henderson. Tight defense on him. Truck inside. Rambis defending. Truck misses. And for those who remember watching Truck in college, you know he's as hard a worker as they come. Yeah, nobody's going to out-hustle him, Mike. He's not the most skilled wing, but he's a great player to have fill in for nights like this. Six on the shot clock. Johnson, a wide-open look. Goes up again. And there's no luck. Bird with it. The dish to Henderson. Bird is screen on Johnson. Truck drives in. Passes it to Bird. Johnson with some nice D. And here's Los Angeles. Here's Cooper. Henderson pulls it in. And so Henderson will bring it up for Boston. They trail by three. And he drives in. And Bird with the basket on the assist by Truck. What about Truck? Working off the pick and dropping it off perfectly. Well done. And this year's draft class, Mike, it's shaping up to be a good one. There are a few players that could alter the future of teams. Elijah Warren and Jordan seem like can't miss prospects. But there are a lot of great kids coming out this year. Johnson against Truck. Bird a screen on Johnson. Truck deciding where to go with it. 
pass to Bird. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Bird is really good inside because he uses both hands and that 6-9 frame to get the shot to fall despite solid defensive pressure. Johnson, and the bank shot is good. Johnson's got six points. Tell you what, he looks laser focused out of the gate. Scary thought for the defense when he's locked in like that. And you worry about just how quickly he's working himself into a rhythm. Not what the D wants. Here's Wedman. Parrish with the screen on Johnson to the left side wing. Wedman the pass to Bird. A rebound by the Lakers. Well, Kareem only had three rebounds in their last game against Boston. You knew he'd grab more than that in this one. You know, you've got to look forward to the big man battle. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar going at it with Robert Paris. That's pretty good. Two of the best centers in the NBA. Few players can match up with Kareem, but Parrish is one of them. Now here's Henderson. He has yet to score. Parrish with the screen on Abdul-Jabbar. Trotter drives in, and it's Parrish finishing it off. Beautiful room service pass by Truck. I mean, that's exactly why his teammates like playing with him. This guy is unselfish. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Two left in the first quarter. And we have to think back to the last meeting between these teams. What a thrill of that was. It sure was, Mike. The Lakers barely got the win in Boston. That game was only several weeks ago. And you know, you know that's fresh in the minds of the Celtics. And yes, it's good. Abdul Jabbar's got his second basket of the night. Nice awareness there. Worthy sees the open man. And he gets it to him in a hurry for the easy bucket. Walker the pass to McHale. And he can't bank that one in. Los Angeles leading by three. Inside. Wilkes, good. That's too easy for Wilkes. He feasts on these types of opportunities down low. Here's Buckner. to the right wing. Here's Carr. And it's off from three-point range. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers on top, leading by five. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. everyone welcome back to our coverage second quarter action here at the fabulous forum and so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Lakers five point lead the biggest of the game like you talk about the excitement in this crowd this is a capacity crowd here tonight 17,505 here in the forum it's been the hot ticket here in LA Laker fans know what the implications of this matchup mean They've come out in full force. Johnson against Truck. McHale with a screen on Johnson. Truck drives in. The rebound by Johnson. 
You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Trying to extend this lead. Actually, they're doing more than trying because the lead is growing. Well, this is a key part of the game. They're trying to get some breathing room. And Boston has possession after the basket by Los Angeles. Here's Truck off target at the rim. Well, Clark, we expected Magic to have a potential breakout game. So far, he's been solid. No surprise, Kevin. He's always going to be a factor when you talk about Magic Johnson. But with Truck defending him, I would have thought he would look for his own shot just a little bit more here. Inside Worthy is so graceful. Even the contact of a foul can't stop him completely. First team foul. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. James Worthy. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Worthy. Capable of playing either forward position. Worthy is also an incredibly gifted and intelligent scorer. And both free throws good for Worthy. Even though he's coming off the bench in this one, Mike, what a year it's been for Jamal Wilkes. He's looked very comfortable all season long. Found his role and has played it perfectly. Great scoring threat for this team. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Things going from bad to worse. Trailing big and sloppy turnovers like that one not helping things. Here's Johnson. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Pass to McAdoo. Banked in off the glass. McAdoo's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. A dominant rebounder and score. It's not hard to see why McAdoo was drafted second overall in 1972. Now here's Burr. The basket good off the assist from Truck. Truck's got four assists in the game. Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. And Clark Casey Jones, the coach for the Celtics, has done a terrific job in his first year. Well, Kev, his love and loyalty for this team goes without question. All the years he had as an outstanding player, and this organization believes in him. He's been a really good fit for the Celtics so far. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And the Lakers with some changes. Rambis has checked in for Worthy. And it's Scott in for Garrett. Celtics also with a sub. Gerald Henderson, he's checked in for Buckner. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Johnson. Celtics trail by 12. And we figured Magic would attack Truck early on. And he's found uh, Mike a lot of success doing just that. That's how it goes. This is a bit of a welcome to the NBA moment for Truck. Magic is feasting on him. Six to shoot. Here's Truck. Rebounded by McAdoo. Lakers leading by 12. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Truck. That's foul number two for him. And now they're just one foul away from being in the bonus. I expect to see them attacking more now, trying to get the defense to give up that next foul. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Parrish is checked in for McHale. And Wedman subbed in for Ainge. And there's the pass to Cooper. He kicks to Johnson. Passes it to Cooper. Here's Rambus. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. With the fadeaway. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And for more on Truck, who is getting the start today, let's head over to David Aldridge.
Thank you, Kevin. Well, the shorthanded Celtics had to make a roster move. They were able to get Truck, a wing playing for the Minneapolis Muskrats. This team has had their eye on Truck for a while, but this string of injuries forced them to act. We'll see how that goes for them. Guys? We will indeed, DA. Thank you so much. And Clark, the Muskrats, one of the minor league pro teams in the States. Yeah, you know, from what I understand, Kevin Truck was doing really well at that level. This could be his big opportunity. Hey, it's his plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Here's Truck. It's Henderson on the wing. Parrish with the screen on Cooper. To the paint, five to shoot, and it's Parrish finishing it off. Inexcusable letting Parrish get this kind of position if you're the defense. You deserve to get dunked on. 144 left to play here in the second quarter. And Mike, the last game out, Boston dropping their game to San Diego. First loss for them on this road trip. The Clippers were hitting everything, it seemed. Boston just couldn't keep up. That's a game you know they want back. Nice hook shot there. That's a go-to move for him. Now a timeout called by Boston. And as both teams pause action here for a minute, these players are focused on staying hydrated with Gatorade, which is crucial to helping them play the entire game. No question about it, partner. We all know how important it is to keep your energy up. And Gatorade certainly helps big time in that regard. making some changes here. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. You know, we've seen so many great battles between Bird and Magic. Something special typically happens when these two meet. Rivals in college and now rivals in the NBA. They always seem to be getting in each other's way. Here's Scott following the basket by Gerald Henderson. Scott the pass to Wilkes. Can't cash in from the high post. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disrupted defensively. Great challenge. And here is Scott. Still yet to score. Shoots over Henderson. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Cooper's got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. I love the pursuit there he showed on tracking down that board. Yeah, fearless, wasn't he, Clark, on the glass? And it pays off for him. For sure. And the hunger that he plays with. You can't teach that. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Lakers working the ball around now, and that one is good. And the Lakers lead by 16. The muscle and determination from Wilkes. Excellent at working through contact. Now Henderson. Pass to Mikhail. Shot clock at six. Fades away. Boston again missing. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. The Lakers lead by 16. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Welcome back, everyone. The second half getting going. Lakers and Celtics here in beautiful L.A. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. And with Truck on the floor again, Mike, it seems the Celtics will be matching his minutes with Magic's. That's why they signed him. Boston feels he is the right man to bother Magic with his strength. Makes sense they would match minutes. Truck against Scott. Down low. Here's Bird. Rebound the Lakers.
Here's Scott. It's rebounded by Truck. Celtics trail by 16. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for them. And they need to recover as soon as possible. To the middle. And the officials calling for a three-second violation. Oh, my goodness. That was not what this team needed. Well, that explains why they're down. Miscues. Los Angeles leading by 16. Johnson outside. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, both of these teams have been terrific so far this season. This could be a preview of this year's finals. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. The Lakers would love a return trip. I mean, with both teams atop their conferences, this game does have some extra juice to it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Celtics trail by 18. Outside, truck. I got him, I got him. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. They get a hand on it. Back to Henderson. Lock at six. He dishes it to Truck. Here's Bird. The basket good off the assist from Truck. Truck's got five assists tonight. That's exactly where the team wants the ball, in Bird's hands, with the clock timer running down. Now, here's Johnson. He's got 13. Scott finds Abdul Jabbar. Here's Cooper. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. You know, with only two points in that last meeting, he just knew Cooper would come out looking to perform better, and he has. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Celtics trail by 18. Pass to Truck. With the drive. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Abdul Jabbar's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And it's Cooper missing. On the wing, Truck. Covered by Johnson. Parrish with the screen on Johnson. Truck dishes to Bird. Screen by Parrish. Back to Bird. Nine feet out. A rebound by the Lakers. Abdul Jabbar's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Scott. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. And the Lakers lead by 20. We know Scott's got a great stroke from three. So these mid range shots, they're easy for Byron. Screen by Bird. And the foul on Magic Johnson. That's his first foul. Kevin McHale, he checked in for the Celtics. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Celtics passing it around. Rebound by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. The offensive rebound, and it's good, two points. Johnson's got 15 points. Clark, he just knew that Magic was licking his chops with truck guarding him. He's made the Celtics pay. Well, you know, it's asking an awful lot from a guy like Truck to slow down the Magic, man. Sometimes you simply have to recognize you're overmatched. Here's Bird after Magic Johnson's bucket. Always looks like Bird is a step ahead. Makes it very difficult to slow him down. That's 
Second team. Austin making a switch here. Ainge has checked in. This is his first chance at the line tonight. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shot. Throw good, Bird. Speaking with Bird's opponents, they'll tell you he talks trash the whole time. And of course, he backs it up with his play. McAdoo, he's checked in for the Lakers. Worthy comes in for Johnson. Bird hits them both. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Outside, Scott. Pass to Wilkes. Now here's Abdul-Jabbar. To the inside. Here's Bird. Oh, Worthy with the block. Some merciless defense from Worthy. Using his length and speed to get to the ball. Feeds it to McAdoo. Over McHale. McAdoo misses. And so Henderson will bring it up for Boston. Kicks it to Bird. Parrish with the screen on Worthy. The pass to Ainge. Just five on the clock. Boston needs to get off a shot. Henderson, no one around him. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. McAdoo misses. Celtics trail by 20. Not a bad idea to pump the brakes a little bit and slow it down right here. Yeah, you'd like to end the quarter on this possession. Here's Wilkes. And the rebound goes to McHale. McHale's got four rebounds now tonight. Henderson for three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Los Angeles controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we'll be right back after this. We have one more quarter of play left between the Lakers and the Celtics. Our coverage continues here in the fourth quarter. And Mike, in the second half here, you wonder how big a factor the short benches will play in this one. Both teams are missing some rotation players due to injury. The starters might get a little more tired early on. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on truck. And that'll be his third foul so far. And you can see he was set right there in good legal guarding position. That's a nice job. And his teammates appreciate him sacrificing his body. Just a gritty defensive play. Johnson surveying the floor. Passes to McAdoo. Back to Johnson. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. He was just a bit out of position on the screen. He tried to make up for it, but he got caught. Always a tricky play to call, but the refs were right on it. Celtics trail by 20, and the Celtics have one more game on their road trip, Clark. They'll travel to Phoenix after this game here. Caps off a successful six-game road trip for them, Kevin. They started really hot winning their first three games on this West Coast trip. Here's McHale, and it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Showing off his intelligence there. McHale knowing exactly how to run the pick and roll. And here is Los Angeles now. On the wing, Johnson. He's covered by Truck. Johnson kicks to McAdoo. Lakers working the ball around now. Johnson right side. Six on the shot clock. 
count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. And when Magic finds his rhythm, he's a wrecking ball on offense, capable of scoring in so many ways. Here's Truck, pass to McHale. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by Johnson. Here's Garrett. Kicks it out to Johnson. Pass to Mackin. Another shot. Back to Johnson. Garrett, the pass to Mackin. And Garrett now the top of the key. Johnson against Ainge. Johnson, good. Yeah, watching Johnson exert his will down low now, using his height and quick release quite well inside. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Robert Parrish is checked in for McKay. Ledman comes in for Ames. And it's Henderson for Buckner. And so it's Boston with it. Outside, truck. Parrish with the screen on Johnson. And the foul on Magic Johnson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Henderson against Cooper. Pass to Truck. It's stolen by Abdul Jabbar. Well, that was a superb read defensively. He jumped right into the passing lane the instant the ball left the passers. He hammers the alley oop through. And Abdul Jabbar makes alley oops look easy, effortless. Throw it his way, and he uses that long reach and nice bounce to slam it on. Here's Truck after Kareem Abdul Jabbar scored. To the paint, here's Parrish. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Magic Johnson picks one up. McHale's checked in for truck. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? All game long, they've had great energy, leading to a number of second-chance opportunities, and they converted. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. The first free throw is good. A double-double machine. Parrish understands his strengths on offense and also works hard at the defensive end. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. So he hits one of two from the strike. Los Angeles leading by 23. On the wing, Johnson. Henderson defending. Johnson can't hit. Worthy against Bird. Three-pointer. Buries the long-range jumper. And with Bird, you just assume ahead of time his three-pointer is going in. That's how good he is. Johnson, the pass to Garrett. Here's McAdoo, defended by Parrish. Excellent D there from Parrish. And it's Henderson with the ball for Boston. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. They get the rebound. Parrish. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Parrish cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. To the wing right side. There's the pass to Garrett. Now Johnson. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Just five to shoot. 
Here's McAdoo. And again, the Lakers no good. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. The shot's good from Parrish. Well, I'll tell you what, Henderson can be an effective dime dropper, like when a guy is that open. Johnson kicks it over to Worthy. Here's McAdoo. To the left wing. Here's Wilkes. Passes it to McAdoo. And the rejection by Parrish. The wingspan of Parrish. Helping him get a hand on shots when others would have been out of luck. Redman the pass to Parrish. Henderson outside. Here's Redman. And it's Boston with another. They could have used this run much earlier in the ballgame. Too little, too late. But hey, it's something positive to take into the next game. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Wilkes. Dishes it to McAdoo. Makes it off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 16. No blink there from McAdoo. Anderson looking it over. There's the final horn, and this one goes to the Lakers. Mike, they defended home court and beat a tough Celtics team here. An experienced Celtics team, but also very shorthanded. It couldn't overcome the loss of several starters. It was a lot to overcome, Mike. You're right. And still, this was a win that the Lakers wanted more than the Celtics. And Clark, they know how tight things are in the West. And they played like that was the case, Kevin. The Lakers simply outmanned the Celtics with their depth to get the win here at home. For our reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.